Yeah, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. Um, let me quickly drop this one here. There has been this video that is trending since yesterday or thereabout or weekend, um, where a senator was uh, blasting NDDC, the fraud going on in NDDC, trying to justify the the government or administration or regime of Buhari of fighting corruption and all that. You know. Um, what he said there is actually what is happening in uh, NDDC. That's good, quite acceptable. But I want to tell you that it is not just happening in NDDC. Yes, it is virtually happening in all structure of Nigerian government. From the federal to state to local government to all the ministries and everything that Nigerian government does. The corruption going on there is beyond be careful like my brother said in the other video that man that said that be careful it's too much and in case you have not seen that video that was trending i want you to watch it um and if you have watched it before watch it again there is something that you are not seeing and i'll be right back to reveal that to you it is people to see that other people in pedigree and you get the responsibility over a trillion naira when that is drained. Who are you going to hold responsible? Would you say President Buhari has not been fair and just? 81 billion in six months? And there's nothing to show for it? Mr. President, this is one of the most terrible crimes anybody can do to, to, to a generation. People who have been entrusted to improve the well being of their people, to improve the life of their people, they now add that to their problem and put them in abject poverty and penury and their enslavement. This this is one report that the president must act as fast as he can. Because the matter of President Muhammad Buhari is to fight corruption. People are dying in this country for 20,000, 50,000 in Niger Delta. People are dying for 30,000 Naira. And a man is mismanaged billions of Naira. The money they will use to maintain their dogs. Human beings cannot have a quarter of that money of maintaining dogs to feed. We must change the laws. Life imprisonment is the minimum. Amputation is the next thing in Nigeria. If you want corruption to die, gentlemen, we are here to add value to our nation. Let us not pretend about it. You had that right? Good. Now, this man, this senator from Kogi State, if I am not wrong, is trying to, you know, exonerate Mr. President, the general overseer of Nigerian state from these corrupt practices happening left, right, and center. Good. He also want to channel the whole thing as if to say the corruption is only happening in N N uh, uh, what do you call it uh, NNDC or whatever what uh, uh, NNDC right good Niger Delta Development Commission that now that place be headquarter of corruption that one now complete lie the corruption that is happening in NNDC is just an amateur corruption compared with what is happening in NNPC oh yes let me talk about. And the person waits you don't on top of that ministry. Now the president too. Now it be the president and also the minister of petroleum. The day where we go open that file, now the day when I go take this senator serious, now the day where they go open the file of NNPC. The day where they go open the file of CBN and the forest trade. The day where they go open the file of North East Development Commission. <laughs> now that day you go, you understand their papa, their grandpapa, their ancestors of corruption no because when you try to paint one black and maybe exonerate the rest my dear our people used to say that water now from top it they take spoil the corruption where they nigeria now foundational corruption now institutional corruption and with the witness so for nigeria and who are the victims? The ordinary people. Thank God you talk about the trillions that has gone down the drain. Now, are we talking about trillions upon trillions that have been going down the drain in Northeast Development Commission? Especially in the fight against insurgents. Now one another cash card, now one another oil company for security. Sheet. In fact, every sector get their own pipeline 
every ministry get their own corrupt pipeline where they they milk Nigerians dry. I they talk them now Nigerians pata pata na them be the victims. But my problem, no be say this problem where we expose that one, no be new thing again. It is part of Nigerian culture. That's corruption is part and parcel of Nigeria. In fact, corruption is becoming Nigeria. Nigeria is not becoming corruption anymore. Now, corruption is now becoming Nigeria. If any country or anybody want to refer corrupt practices, the synonymous or the best practice is Nigeria. Yes. Nigeria is an embodiment of corruption. That is no, no go area. That one now, uh, certified truth. But the problem be say, now who they recycle this corrupt practice, now who they allow these corrupt practices to go, to go on? Now the people. Now the people. I was surprised to see people protest in favor of Abiyo. In the name that he is their son. The one going in shop, now for his own. The people where they not, they shop their own. The people where they was, they shop their own. You can imagine that madness. You see that? That is the problem. That is the real problem. The people are their own problem. Because that then they go still use. You go come, talk. As I they talk now, the people will go attack me. The people will go walk to shut this mouth down. Now the ordinary people will be the victims. Where they are worse, their case was passed by own. They they are the lowest ebb in life. They are hopeless. So any one cover means the world to them. No wonder this political class are using the instrumentality of poverty and hunger against the people. But it is left for the people to choose whether or not to allow this trend to continue. I'll keep saying it. Nigeria is killing Nigerians. Nigerians are the victim of Nigeria. Until you destroy and dismember this country, this British colonial contraption called Nigeria, until you dismember it and free the people, there will be no hope for any person who call himself Nigerian. Yes, whether you are a while, whether you do, or even my own people, Biafra, all of us are victims of this British colonial contraption. There is only one way out. Everybody to your tent, go back home and fix your problem. I am not the problem of an average other woman. I am not the problem of an average Yoruba man, which the political class will make you to believe that this boy that is saying all this thing, it is because it is um, a Fulani man that is the president of Nigeria. Where was he when Jonathan was there? He is criticizing this because he is not an answer person or Fulani person. That is the mindset of an average Nigerian. And you wake up and you start protesting on their behalf while their children is there living large schooling in the best schools in the world their medical service have been secured they have medical insurance all over the world at your expense at the expense of your children your children cannot go to school we keep saying it here until the people rise when the government fail the people will rise it is a national phenomenon that is how it works in every same society why would Nigeria only be different? Nigeria is always the giant. In fact, Jonathan, I say Nigeria is not the giant of Africa. No, I am not come to believe that Nigeria is the giant of Africa in everything negative. Everything is wrong with Nigeria. It is foundational. I'm not speaking anybody against anybody because I'm an Afri Pan Africanist. But the truth be told, until we dismember this British colonial contraption and every trace of colonization and its leftovers until we dismember it africans will never experience true freedom let me talk am. now let me talk am. not just in africa but every black nation all over the world especially in the caribbean you saw the time why i talk say haiti and subsidy today just recently they finished paying for their freedom people will enslave you you call for revolution they kill your people and made you to pay for the lives they killed for you to be to have independence up to today some african countries are still paying loyalties to european countries long after their so-called independence rubbish the african man the african race the black people all over the world you must rise and fix your government this is not just about biafra although i'll keep saying that biafra is the hope of the black race because 
in Biafra, Africa died. But in Biafra, Africa shall rise again. Anyone working against the freedom of my people is virtually working against the freedom of his own people. Because we're talking about Biafra, it's all about freedom, equity, and justice. Innovation, progress. Adding value to the society. Let Africans breathe again. Nigeria is suffocating Nigerians. Nigeria is suffocating Nigerians, killing Nigerians. Dispember Nigeria now before it is too late. And it is only the people that can enforce it. The beneficiaries of these impunities are those in government. I have spoken. I am the voice of the gods, the voice of our ancestors, because the voice of the people is the voice of God. I represent that voice. Keep subscribing if this is your first time of coming on this platform. I still remain as soon as you Peters, your one and only voice, speaking without fear. We are committed to this task until Africa and my people are free. Please on, so, click on the sub subscription button, like, share, drop your comment. Let me have your opinion on this. We entertain critics. We entertain, you know, opposing views because I am not an island of knowledge. Together, we can fix this. All right? So keep bringing it on. We thank you all who have been consistent on this platform, who have been sharing, who have been, you know, making this community to continue to expand. We are heading towards one million. We've just hit the 100,000, we're heading to 200,000, and progressively, we will hit 1 million. And we will provoke the kind of revolution that mankind have never seen. Because this is where they are holding us, and we will unlock here. Thank you, and stay safe.